Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're going to have a look at this little beast. This is the tier 9 German TD, the Jag Tiger. Why are we looking at it? Because no one's asked for it. Well, no one's looked at this thing since its buff. This thing is a great tank in the best of times. It was always renowned having one of the best DPMs, if not the best DPM in the game. As you can see, it point wise just shy of 2000. But look at that frontal armor, 250. Wowzers, and it's not bad concealment. DPM, as I said, one of the best in the game, if not the best, 3600. Reload time, just seven and a half seconds. But let's look at the penetration. Okay, the damage may be a bit meh, and the depression, well, eight degrees, it's pretty standard. It's also got quite a decent speed for a big lumbering TD. Looking at what I loaded out with, I have calibrated shells, defense mechanism, camo net, laying device, additional HP, additional engine, and refined gun. When I stack it up against the other TDs in the tech tree in its tier, you can see there, I mean, DPM is off the chart. Penetration, only the Hori and the Object 704 beat it. DPM, 460 isn't the worst, but it isn't the best. I mean, it's still beating the likes of the AMX and the Tortoise and it does so in a nice reload. The rest of it, well, you can see here, guys, it's really outshining. The rate of fire beats anything hands down. That reload time beats anything hands down in the tier. Aim time is also the best. So you're getting to understand that this is a good tank, more so since the buff. Now, it got a massive frontal armor buff. This is what the armor profile looks like. It's not that different to what it used to look like you would say but let me put it against an e75 so you understand where i'm coming from here Oof! this is against an e75 it's going to struggle to pen anything apart from that lower plate and surprisingly it's a really nice side scraper now if i stick apcr in oof! there's hardly any change i mean this is apcr frontally this thing is almost impenetrable against tier 9 and tier 8 heavies. But what's it like to play in the game? Now this is me rolling out yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm up tiered. It's a tier 9, tier 8 game. And we're on Mayan Ruins. And you know what? I've always liked the Yag Tiger, to be honest with you. I've always thought it was a formidable tank. It's, it's always had the best DPM in the game. I mean, it is stonking. It's also got, I mean, the gun is just fantastic. And I always used to think it had trolley armor at the best of times. Anyway, now with its buff, this thing is just a beast. Seriously, if you've got this tank in your garage and you've not rolled out in it since it's had its buff, then guys, you're really missing out because this tank is almost unstoppable now. I wouldn't say it goes as far to say it's broken. I mean, because obviously in the right hand, in the wrong hands, it's still going to be a bit of a nightmare tank. It's still a fixed casemate TD. Um, with that, it's got mobility issues, as you can see. But you don't need to camp in this thing. And that's the thing about it. This tank is equally at home in tier 10 as it is in tier 9 and tier 8. And whilst I wouldn't recommend frontlining it, because, well, don't frontline it, you can get up close and personal, quite really up close with the heavies, as I've seen me doing there. You can be a second line support just behind the heavies, and this thing is not going to break a sweat. It's not going to have trouble. And with this gun and this accuracy and this reload type, the ability for you to dish out a lot of damage very, very quickly. Well, it's there, isn't it? And I don't know why people rage about this tank. This is not a tank that anybody should rage about. Eight degrees of gun depression is just enough to poke over the top here and smack the IS-3 in the side. There we go, boom. And with my increased armor, that ISU, bless him, is gonna to struggle to pen me. I'm not gonna to struggle to pen him though because my penetration is fantastic. I'm only gonna knock him for 400 and something, but what does it matter? 
So we bounced over a thousand there, we took two kills, we did two thousand on damage, not setting the world on fire I admit, but we had a good time doing it. Like I said, I've always liked this tank, I've always thought it's a dream TD, and you know, when you've got things like the Waffle Tractor in the same tier, and you've got this, I prefer this, personally. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Waffle Tractor's a nice tank, but it's a tricky tank to play. This tank is completely and utterly noob friendly. So, you know, if you've got low battle counts or you haven't got an exact, you know, an amazing win rate, this is the TD you should be choosing in tier nine. It is incredibly noob friendly. Any average player is gonna do well in this tank. And any veteran player or Unicum is gonna set the world on fire in this tank. This tank really shouldn't be underestimated, guys. Like I said, it was always formidable anyway. Now, it's, wow, it's almost, you know, unbeatable. Okay, in the wrong hand, just don't want to beat it. But look at it. I mean, you can, I mean, my reload is much better than his. I mean, I'm like, I'm in a medium tank with a TD brain. I mean, it's unbelievable. You're churning out... You know, top speed on this thing is 38 kilometers an hour forward. You're going to do an average of about 25, but it's no shrinking violet. This thing is no slouch. You can get around the battlefield nicely. You don't need to camp in it. You just need to put your face and that gun forward, point it at whatever you want to point it at, and believe me, it will slice through it. And it will slice through it and dish out over 400 damage at the same time. And then seven and a half seconds later, can do the same thing again no you know sat there with the mindset that things are going to struggle to pen you now this t95 okay here's a bad shot here but the t95's got good penetration to be honest with you i'm going to roll my corner he's going to bounce me look at this i'm not going to bounce him boom gone this tank was great now it's just fantastic so seriously, if you have this tank in your garage and you haven't rolled out in it since it's buff, get out there. If you don't have this tank in your garage, what are you waiting for? Seriously guys, grind this before you grind the waffle tractor. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the Jag Tiger, the tier nine German TD. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. Um, if you haven't pressed subscribe yet, please do so. It's a beautiful thing to do. Put a smile on my face and costs you nothing. As always, I want to do a big shout out to firstly my subscribers for being there and secondly for my patrons who without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder. If you have any decent videos or replays, send them across to me to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or drop them into my Discord, whatever easier. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because you know, that is what it's all about having fun and being happy.